Hi, my name's Nicola Benithia and um, I'm a mother of five, first of all. Um, one of my mo most important roles is being a mother. Um, and secondly then, I'm second to that, my passion is I'm a counsellor, a trained therapist, which um, I thoroughly enjoy. Um, so really, I had, like I said in the beginning, I had four, four daughters and one son. And um, like I said, really what brings me here today and having this conversation with yourself is really my backstory of my, my son, Rashid. I was a trained counsellor already and that's what I was doing day to day. Um, and just like any normal family, we just had our routine. However, back in 2014, um, events changed in my life. And really, I would always say that this field of work um, with extremism and combating radicalisation, it found me. Um, I certainly really didn't really hear much about it or understood much about it back then. Um, but unfortunately, when um, my son was 17, 18, he um, was lured into extremist narratives and ideology. And, and like I said, he succumbed to um, sort of um, their ideology in the end. And, and that's really why I kind of started to think about how I could make a difference. Um, because like you said, I think life stories are incredibly powerful. Um, professionals can stand there and talk about the, the and, and, you know, make us understand um, you know better however I think when you have somebody with a life story and um, something where it comes with authenticity um, and I think really that's why I kind of spoke out um, to, to tell people about my story because I didn't want people to kind of almost guess um, and kind of analyze me and try to almost figure me out without asking me um, and and because quite often that's what would happen. Um, people always started to interpret um, what led somebody to radicalization or what kind of family they came from or what kind of background without really asking firsthand. And so that's why I stepped out um, and decided to kind of um, speak up against it. Yeah. Rashid, he was my fourth child. Um, and like I said, he was my only son. Um, and really, um, I know that certainly when he came along, being my fourth child after three girls, I quietly and, and silently really, really wanted a little boy. And when he was born, um, he literally was everything I'd ever dreamed of. Um, he was so kind of easygoing and, and kind and, and caring. Um, and, and that's what was so untoward about it later on in life, why he would choose such a path, because it wasn't his character. Um, and I think it was because of his kindness and it was because of his naivety that, that people kind of then saw that vulnerability um, and then kind of steered him down a different path. But he was somebody who was always very energetic, somebody who always was full of ideas bouncing around. Um, so again, very much again, somebody who could have easily been led because he was always wanting the next new thing or looking um, for that adventure. And that again was one of the reasons I think that kind of then steered him down that path. I, I think certainly he um, injustice was a big thing. I mean, it's certainly something for me as well. Um, certainly when I do my work and I approach people in the way I am professionally, I'm very. I like to be very fair, very just, and I'm sure I pass those that that kind of um, moral onto my, my value onto my children, and that's something Rashid certainly carried. And so when he was seeing lots of images, I think, on the news and on the media about these um, obviously um, awful things that were happening around the world and particularly in Syria at the time, um, I think that really hit a nerve and that really kind of, um, he found that kind of unfair. And obviously then when you have people on the sidelines who are kind of almost stirring the pot as it were, um, and I think that's what really, really happened. I think, you know, he was somebody who did kind of have a kind heart, did want to make a difference, but unfortunately there are people in the, in the kind of shadows who look for those kind of things as well to steer them down something very, very dark that they don't understand properly.